okay, so this is best statistic in clinical decision making. What can we get from two times two combination table? The first one introduction. Best statistic is an essential part when making clinical decision. The experience of a doctor comes from many patients with the same diagnosis. That is, diagnosis based on population data, so called biostatistic. A two times two contingency table are commonly used in clinical decision making. Predictive value and receiver operating characteristic RLC curve can provide relevant information. So we use the O ratio, risk ratio, and cash grade test to expose the relationship between the exposure and outcomes. So the second one is fundamental application in medical diagnosis. This table is to evaluate the new clinical test or novel kind of treatment compared with the reference standard or some certain method of treatment. And this is the formula to evaluate the new clinical test or treatment based on the preference standard. And so on is a confidence interval. And then is PVV and MP MPV. So the power is the ROC curve. Okay, so this is the evaluation for the relationship between the outcomes and the exposure for a certain disease. Contingency table basically used in case control study and cohort study. For the case control study, we have an O ratio, x square test, and computer work. For the cohort study, we have a risk ratio. O ratio and risk ratio can be used to describe the comparison of two treatments, but the O ratio cannot be calculated if either Fn and Fp equal to zero. Thank you to Kibi. Okay, uh, hello, I'm Shaza. I'm gonna uh, explain about clinical example. For first uh, example, diagnostic accuracy of 44 slide multi detector compute tomography to identify periampulary duodenal diverticular. This is a uh, table for MDC MDCT uh, for senti sensitivity. Uh, 76 over 100 which is we get 76 percent so, uh, specificity is 100 since it's no false positive for PV, PPV which is number of person who have a the disease test positive uh, we get uh, 76 over 70 plus 0 and then we get 100 percent and for the uh, number of person who have a disease test negative 20 over 24 plus 20, we get 45 on 45. Alright, uh, the last one, uh, we can conclude uh, from the contingency table 1. Uh, evaluate a new test compared with a reference standard uh, in example 1. Uh, sensitivity and specificity. Testing uh, the accuracy of a new test with a reference standard. Uh, and then, uh, pre value evaluate the performance of the test in a population outside the study sample for contingency table 2 explore the relationship between exposures in interventions of outcome or disease in uh, example 2 for the odd ratio measure widely used in prospective study while the RR uh, ratio uh, which is a risk ratio widely used in a prospective study and then chi square test determine whether the uh, relationship between outcome and exposure thank you that's all from me and cat kimbi